Hey, what up everybody, Stevie Breach uh, here. Major League Baseball has finally lowered the boom on Ryan Braun. Ryan Braun is a guy that uh, I have the most respect for, and it really sucks uh, that somebody like this is, is caught up in all these uh, steroids and player enhancement sort of drugs. It sort of sucks, because mostly all these guys that I really root for come out, and then over time it just comes out that they're dirty. Um, it, it just really sucks to me that a guy like this, it was, it was a fun story a couple of years ago when Ryan Braun won the uh, Most Valuable Player, the, the Brewers, a team that honestly has been in the shits for a long time, finally built a big winning team. Uh, they go on to, uh, they went to the National League Championship Series, and pretty soon, uh, and, and it was a team that I was really, really rooting for. And then right after that, they named this guy the MVP of the National League. They come out, he has a, a, you know, a failed drug test, and then he gets this whole thing overturned, basically all due to lawyers uh, just basically saying that you know, the drug sample was mixed around, it was shipped a different way, somebody signed the package a different name. There was a thousand different stories about what was going on. It was basically like, you know, trying to argue that a, a cop can't give you a speeding ticket because they weren't wearing their hat when they gave you the ticket. You know, it's just, if you're done, you're done. I mean, you're busted. You should have sat down a long time ago, came out and apologized to all the fans. Uh, basically, they took the MVP award from him, but the writers still gave it to him. Uh, they gave him the benefit of the doubt. Uh, but there's, you know, being named in this story and other stories, you know, you know <laughs> where there's smoke, there's fire. And, you know, this guy... You know, it just sucks that his season is done, but, you know, the Brewers, they weren't really, you know, putting a winning season really together, so maybe uh, it's the best thing that the, you know, the Brewers can sit him down this year and they can try to build something back uh, for something else. Now we have to see what baseball is going to do about these other guys, like uh, Jose Batista, Alex Rodriguez, you know, these names are just going to keep on pouring in and in. I just, it sucks to me, you know, I wanted to give him the benefit of the doubt because his name was in so many stories that you just knew this guy was, it was guilty and that basically from now on he's going to be done and he's going to have that asterisk next to his name. Uh, and you know, I, I always really wanted Alex Rodriguez to come out and break Barry Bonds record. Uh, you know, Barry Bonds never really was one of my favorite players. He always played for the Pirates and the Giants, two of the, you know, the, the rivals of the, the Atlanta Braves. And I always wanted Rodriguez to come out and break that record, but you know, A-Rod couldn't do it uh, because he has the asterisk next to his name. I was rooting for pool holes, but it seems like he's not going to be able to do it because he can't hit for shit playing in, um, California with the Angels, and um, his elbow is probably just going to fall off. His, his body's just not going to last. So I don't know who I'm going to be rooting for from here on out, but got to find somebody who's clean that I can root for in Major League Baseball.